Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy, Nerdy Nubbies. Today I'm hanging out with my dad, Papa Pizza. Hey guys, we're going to be making something really tasty today. Yeah, we are. You know what Papa Pizza's here. We're probably going to be making a pizza. And we are celebrating the math holiday, Pi Day. For anyone who isn't familiar with this geeky math holiday, it falls every year on March 14th for 3.14 March 14th. 14, that's right. So today we are going to be making pizza pie pies. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. The things you'll need to make these individual pizza pie pies will be a pie cookie cutter. This one is from my baking line. I've seen some other ones online, but I really like this one because it's got a silicone grip and it's quite large. It's great for an individual pizza size. To make the dough, you'll need three cups of bread flour, one cup of warm water, about 100 degrees, one package of active dry yeast, two tablespoons of olive oil, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. And for the toppings, you'll need one third cup chopped sun-dried tomatoes, one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, pizza sauce, four green onions, and a little bit of cornmeal for dusting the cookie sheet. Now, now let's, let's put, put it all, all together. together. Okay, the first step to making pizza dough is activating the yeast with mm -hmm. warm water. That's right. So in a large bowl, we're going to pour in our warm water, and we're also going to add our sugar. Add the entire package. Now whisk together until well combined and then set aside. We let our yeast set for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add the flour, oil, and salt. You start with half of the flour. After you pour in half the flour, then mix it up. Now add your oil and salt. Mm -hmm. Mix together once again, then add the second half of your flour. The reason we add a little bit of the flour before the salt is so the salt won't kill the yeast. All right, Dad, you pick it up. I'm gonna sprinkle down some flour so it won't stick to our work surface. When you're kneading dough at home, it's very easy. You use your hands, use the heel, push down, fold back, and turn. Keep working, working the dough, dough until it's soft and not sticky. sticky. You know how you know when you're in love? How? When you, someone has a pizza in your heart. <laughs> Our dough is ready and now it's time to put it to bed. To do so, grease a large bowl, spread it all around, not only on the bottom, but the sides. Okay, let's put that in. Oop, oop, right, right in the just middle. like Perfect. that. Tuck the little dough in. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll let this dough rest for about an hour. Also a good tip is to let your dough sit out at room temperature. Don't put it in the oven or the refrigerator. Let it sit out at room temperature in your warmest room. The process usually takes one hour like Papa mm -hmm. Pizza said, but leave it out until it doubles in size. Hey, it's been about an hour. Let's mm -hmm. check on our dough. Yes, please. Here we go. Is it ready? Because I'm ready. Oh yeah, oh, that's good. Perfect. Sprinkle your surface mm -hmm. just a little bit because we're going to roll it and we don't want it to stick. Don't want it to stick. Papa Pizza, you get the honors. Today okay. this is my favorite Thanks. part. You flip the bowl upside down, just give it a little jiggle and it just boom. That's right. Here. And it's so fluffy and it's so fun. Okay, okay. Ready? Yeah, Dad, go for it. Lost. Wait, wait, give a little jiggle. Give a little jiggle. It will come out. It will come out. I can see it going right now. Here it goes. Here <laughs> it's goes. moving. It's moving. Vroom. It kind of looks like the blob. Okay, what you need to do now is roll this out to be about a quarter inch thick. Mm -hmm. I put a little flour on top. Yeah. Roll oh, it. look at that. Roll it all different directions. Oh my gosh, Dad, that looks so good. Now the dough is rolled out. Mm -hmm. you get your cookie cutter and cut the pizzas. Yeah. And Dad, while you're cutting out the dough, I'm going to get the cookie sheet ready. I'm taking a little bit of cornmeal and sprinkling it on the cookie sheet. This is totally optional, but I love pizza with the crunchies on the bottom of the crust. Then pick up your pizzas and place them under your baking sheet. Got the dough on the trays. Mm -hmm. Let them rest one more time. That's right, but this time it's more of a nap. Just a short nap, we're gonna let them rest for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So again, take a clean kitchen towel and cover them up, just tuck them in. Do, 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 do. Well, it's been about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. let's uncover them. Okay, let's so wake them up. Ooh. And before we add our toppings or anything, 
We've got to punch a bunch of holes in them. Which is called what, Papa Pizza? Well, docking if you're in the pizza world. Yeah, docking. So you can just take a little fork and poke, 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 poke holes into the dough so it won't get really bubbly and it will keep its shape while baking. Pizza dough is ready to bake. That's right. We're going to bake our pizzas twice, but it's super easy because the first time is just for five minutes. So heat your oven to 400 degrees and bake these for five minutes. Time for toppings. We're going to start with a little bit of red marinara sauce. I've just got a little spoon. These are smaller individual sized pizzas, so you just put a little on. You don't need a lot. So these are personal pizzas. Yeah, and I'm going to personally eat all of them. <laughs> For toppings, we have the shredded mozzarella, some green onion, and sun-dried tomato. But you can use whatever toppings you'd like. All right, start with the cheese, a little right. pinch. Dad, do you know any other cheesy jokes? What's the difference between a pizza and my jokes? What? My jokes are hard to top. <laughs> All the pizzas are topped and now they're ready to bake. Mm -hmm. Heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 8 to 10 minutes. Yep, yep. Ta-da! Ta Here are the pizza pie pies that we made today. And this is the first time on Dirty Nummies that we've ever made a savory pie for the math holiday. Hi day, so I'm so excited. And a big thank you to Papa Pizza for helping me make these today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, these turned out amazing with your help. Thank you so much. Mm. We'll be posting the recipe and a bunch of pictures on rosannapancino.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can check it out there. And if you guys make these pizzas, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations, especially when they are math themed. That's right. <gasps> or pizza themed, huh, especially Dad? Pizza. And if you have any more ideas for nerdy, nerdy nummies, we'll put them down below. Yeah. <laughs> they suggest it down oh, below. Put them down below. Yeah, put you? them down below. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a happy pie day. Bye-bye. All right, we need cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 This is the best part of the day.